Hey, how's it going guys? Welcome to another PyQt5 tutorial video. My name is Jay. In this video, I'm going to show you how we can insert hyperlink to a, a QText browser widget. Right, so here's the application we'll be creating in this exercise. In this application, I have a push button and below is a, a, a QText browser widget. If I click on the push button, it's going to generate a dummy text, hello world, as well as a hyperlink link to uh, Google's website. So if I click on Google, aim here on my browser, and it's going to launch google.com. And let me close my browser. Now let me close this and let's get started. Here I've already pre-rolled some of the, uh, the script. From the importing statement, I'm importing the system library. From the Qt widgets library, I'm inputting the Q application class, Q widget, Q push button, uh, Q feedback layout, and the last one is the Q text browser widget. We also need to import Q text because the widget, so we can uh, navigate different uh, position in a text browser. All right now, let's go into the app demo class. So here I'm going to create my uh, layout object. And it's going to be a vertical box layout. Next, I'm going to create my push button. I'm going to provide the text uh, demo. And for the uh, click event, I'm going to set that to uh, none for now, just a placeholder. And I'll add this button to my layout object. Now I'm going to create my text browser widget. And first of all, we need to set the open external link setting to two. So from the self that text browser, I'm going to insert the set open external links uh, setting. I'll set this value to two. And to make the uh, font size a little bigger, oops, I'll insert the set style sheet method. I'm going to set the font size to 30 pixel. Then I'll add this uh, widget to my layout object. Oh, and lastly, we need to uh, set the layout with the layout object. Let's take a look at the uh, appearance first, and here's a typo. Set open external links. Oh, okay, so here's a typo. This should be a uh, text browser. Text browser, right. Now here's our application interface. Now we need to create a method to generate the text. I'm going to name this method generate content. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to move the cursor in the to the beginning. So move cursor. I'll insert the cute text cursor with a class that starts. And to insert hyperlink in a text browser, basically we are just inserting different types of uh, HTML markup. So I'm going to uh, use the append method to insert my uh, to insert my content, and to simply just insert uh, a regular text. So I can just type hello world, and to insert a, a hyperlink in HTML. I'll need to insert the A tag. And from the opening A tag, I need to insert the uh, href attribute followed by the, uh, the URL. And it's going to be google.com. And here I can insert the display text that I want to display in my text browser. And I'm going to just type Google. Right, so here let's go back to the click event. I can insert 
my generate content method. And this if we need to write. Now if I launch the application and if I click on demo, and that'll display my hello world text followed by the hyperlink to Google website. This is everything I want to share in this video and hopefully you guys found the video useful. And as always, thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys on the next video.